Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to film the full coverage makeup routine that I do for like oily acne prone skin, that's me. So this is my way of doing this full coverage look without it looking cakey and it's really full coverage because you cannot even see any of my acne marks, any acne scars, any pigmentation. So if you guys want to know how I did this and how I achieved this, then please keep on watching. Alright guys, so now for moisturizer, I use the Elf Cosmetics Hydrating Serum. I've been loving this stuff ever since I received it, so if you guys need a good moisturizer for oily, combo, normal skin, dry skin especially, then check this one out. Whoop, I've already moisturized, so I don't need to anymore. Moving on to primer. Primer is also really, really important, and the two that I love for my, if I'm going full coverage, if I'm going to an event, if I need the matte effect and the smoothing, these two are really, really bomb, you guys. These are from Makeup Forever, and these are their um, Step 1 Skin Equalizer Primer. And this one is the Smoothing Primer right there. And then this one is the Mattifying Primer. These are both really, really good, and you can also use them both. Actually, you can use any of these equalizers. So let's just say that you are, you know, like oily on your T-zone and then dry in other areas. You can go ahead and use the Hydrating Serum. I'm sorry, the Hydrating Primer. For the other areas and they can be combined so for this tutorial I am going to combine them both so I am applying the matte um, primer and I'm gonna use that basically on my t-zone but avoiding my nose so I'm only gonna do forehead and chin you know what I'm actually gonna add a little bit to my upper lip area because I do tend to get a little oily there. Now I'm going to be using the smoothing primer and I'm going to focus this on my nose and right here where my cheeks are where I have the most um, noticeable pores. And as you can see, I am dabbing the product onto my face. I am not swiping because I want the product to be, to be able to fill in my pores. So make sure that you are dabbing this. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, I've already cleaned up my brows. The only thing I have in them is brow gel. That's completely it. So I clean them up with concealer and I have brow gel later on. I don't know what kind of look I'm going for, so I will fill them in later. And also I'm wearing this chapstick, which is an obsession of mine. I don't know if you guys know this, but I am obsessed with chapstick. Like I have to have chapstick on all day, every day. Um, and I have like 20 of them. I know it's crazy, but like I'm obsessed with chapstick. So I've been using this one. This is from Makeup Forever. This is their Ultra HD Lip Booster. And they do have um, a tinted one and then a clear one. So yeah, but this one is the one I prefer because I like the rosiness that it adds to my lip color. So yeah, let's move on. Since I do have acne prone skin, fresh acne, acne marks, all of that, okay, I always get asked if I color correct. And my answer to that is no, I do not color correct anymore. I did and I used to color correct a lot. Um, back when I first started doing makeup, I just felt like that was the only way to cover up my acne scars because they were so pigmented. And honestly, the pigmentation has gotten a lot better throughout the years. Um, and that's, it's, I, I can't really pinpoint what I use to make that better because I've used so many products. You guys can imagine, like I'm always testing out skincare and it either goes right or wrong. So I don't know how that happened, but thankfully it did, but I still do have a lot of marks. So I get asked that question. And I think before I also used to color correct because I didn't know of like a really good, um, concealer and I received this, no, I bought this. I didn't receive it, Psh, I wish. I bought this probably, I wanna say two years ago and it's lasted me so long. And this is the Kevin Aquan Essential Skin Enhancer and this is in shade SX11. So this is what the, what it looks like. This stuff is so full coverage, it's no joke. Okay, so I do not recommend using a lot of it. A lot of people actually use this concealer, okay? It's a concealer. They use it as like a foundation or like a dry concealer and I don't know how because I could imagine it creasing so bad under your eyes. But I mean, 
Go for it, try it if you want, but because this is a concealer. But to me, I use it as a corrective concealer um, because it's so full coverage and it is in shade SX11. So it's a little more on the peachy side. Um, it is darker than my skin tone. So again, that's going to like counteract with all like the green and the orange and like all these different colors that I have on my skin because of my pigmentation. This one completely just like blanks them out. I'm using the Royal and Lagnical Precision Domed Brush. And I'm going to just dip in a tad bit, just a tiny bit. And I'm just going to dab it over the areas where I have my acne and my dark pigmentation. I naturally have this dark pigment on each cheekbone, like right here. And it looks really just dirty and muddy if I don't do this step. And sometimes I'm okay with that. Um, especially if I'm going for like light makeup days, I'm totally fine with that. But if I'm going full coverage, mama needs to cover them up. So all I'm doing is just dabbing. I'm not blending this out yet. I prefer doing the step before my foundation because I feel like the foundation would just blend it all together better. Over the years, I have used so many foundations and I always seem to go back to this. This is the L'Oreal Infallible in shade 107. This is the Pro Matte. I'm going to just start dabbing this all over my face. This um, foundation does dry pretty quick, quickly, so make sure that you are working on one side of the face only. Blend out, finish that side, and then move on to the next side. To be using this flat top Kabuki brush, this is the Morphe G six the number is kind of gone but it's just a flat top brush and i'm going to use this brush because this is going to give me more of a full coverage finish since all i'm doing is just pushing this onto my skin coming in with my beauty blender and i'm just going to pounce this all over my face right now that the, the foundation is kind of still wet and not dry and set already so i'm just going to go over it blend it out and it'll start picking up any excess product because we don't want to look cakey don't want that and i'm going to move on to concealer and i love this concealer this is a tarte shape tape concealer i know everyone and their mommy uses this but honestly it's so good but i see fear in your eyes again love in the corner where we never Whatever I have left over on the, the um, not the brush, the beauty blender, I'm going to just deposit a little bit here on my chin. And then right here on my forehead, just a little bit. Even if it does nothing, like I don't like adding highlighter um, or a concealer here to my forehead since it's already like super, super big. So I just like to add foundation and then my bronzer on there. All right, so I'm going to set that right away and I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just going to dab this under my eyes and everywhere that I highlighted, like my chin, a little bit on my forehead and my smile lines. Now to set my face in the other areas that I didn't set it with the translucent powder, I'm going to be using my MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Powder in C4 and this is a full coverage powder foundation. So I'm going to grab a large brush and I'm just going to dust this everywhere, my neck and my face, everywhere else where I did not set earlier. For bronzer, I'm going to be using this one because I've been obsessed with it. Um, yeah, so this one is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. I was going to say though, that I was using a Makeup Forever powder foundation again just like the mac one but it was Mac makeup forever um that one also is full coverage and it does add because it's foundation it does add a coverage to your bronzing areas but i can't find it right now so i'm gonna have to look for it later but i'll use this one because it's good enough moving on to a blush and highlighter i'm gonna be using this little baby right here this is the new it cosmetics confidence in your glow palette it's so beautiful. Like this is, it's beautiful, it's stunning. So it comes in three different palettes. So like there's three different palettes. Um, this one is the Instant Warm Glow. If you guys want to review on these, let me know. Of course, it's not going to be a first impression because technically I'm using it for the first time right now in this video. But if you guys want a review on these, let me know. Um, I'll add it to the poll and then let me know if you guys want to see it. Um, I'll show you guys really, really quick. So this is, these are the other ones. Uh, 
so you see how there's three and uh, and then this one is instant natural glow um instant warm glow and instant nude glow and they're all beautiful but for today i'm going to be using warm glow it also comes with this beautiful like funky little brush like it, it's stunning because of the color and the packaging but it's also a really funky brush um this is the one sweep wonder number 705 and this is part of their healthy skin sorry not healthy skin heavenly skin collection brush collection and i do believe that all of these I do know for a fact this one, but I'm pretty sure that all of that collection, the Heavenly Skin, is infused with skincare. How? I don't know. But trust me, they are so, so soft, and you'll never feel like another brush like this ever again in your life. So if you guys have not checked out um, A Cosmetics Brushes, stop by your local like Ulta Beauty shop or Ulta Beauty store and feel them out because they're so beautiful. So I'm going to be using this guy right here. <laughs> In the corner where we never wanted to go, to go, and I see hate in your heart again. This is a beautiful. You guys are seeing this for the first time too. Look, and it didn't even get messy. It didn't get under my contour or anything. Do you guys like it? I love it. Oh my god. It is beautiful, and the color of the blush is so pretty. Did I show you guys what the inside looked like? I don't know if I did, but it looks like this. And here is the brush. I'm going to be using the same highlighter, and I'm going to just bring it down the bridge of my nose. Because I always like to highlight the bridge of my nose, so yeah. Oh my god. I think I just found my favorite highlighter. Stop. This is so pretty. <gasps> Do you guys see that? Oh my god. I think I just want to keep going. But then you go ham. Rub it out a little bit. And it doesn't look dusty. It's not powdery. All right, guys, we are almost done. Um, and now I'm going to be using the Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray, and this is a great setting spray. It's going to make your, your makeup last a lot longer, and also it's going to take the powdery cakiness away. They have a great line of setting sprays. They have this one, they have a bridal one, they have an oil control one, which I'm probably gonna have to stock up on that one. Um, but yeah, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake it, and then I'm just going to, oh my God, that feels so good. Spray my entire face and we're done. Before I end my video, I do want to give my shout out today. And my shout out goes to Ava Gonzalez. I hope I'm saying this right. She says, much love from SnapFam. Notifications are locked and loaded. Thank you so much for your support. Remember, if you guys want a shout out in my next video, all you have to do is turn on my post notifications. You're going to be alerted every time or notified every time I post a video and I post three times a week. And yeah, so just let me know if you have them turned on. Comment down below when done and hopefully you'll get a shout out in the next video. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching and learned something new today. This is just my way of doing my full coverage routine for my acne-prone skin. So I do like um, using a lot of powder. And yeah, I mean, it works for me, and it makes my skin look really flawless. You can't even see any of my discoloration, pigmentation, acne, any of that. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, you guys. It really helps me out. Share this video. Comment down below what video you guys like to see next. And don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.